Hello, I'm John Russell, Director of Engineering Production here at Team Vodafone, and welcome to the Norton 360 Engineering for Speed Technical Section. So, drive line of a V8 supercar. So, starting at the engine, power is transmitted through a clutch, which is bolted to the flywheel. This is the clutch, carbon fibre plates to deal with the uh, very high torque carbon fibre used because once it gets hot it achieves a very high friction level uh, and is also very tolerant of very high temperatures used at the start of one of these races. That's controlled here by the hydraulic cylinder, the slave cylinder similar to the one you'd find on your road car which basically when the driver operates the clutch pedal pushes this forward and releases the clutch. From the clutch we drive through the input shaft into the gearbox. It's a standard gearbox for the series made by Hollinger. Six speeds, all the ratios are the same ratio for every race. So what we do is we just change the speed, top speed of the car by altering the ratio of the final drive in the differential. Selection mechanism is on top of the gearbox here with the gear lever you see in the cockpit coming off this housing here. <coughs> that then drives through onto what we call the tail shaft, which has um, universal joints here here and here and a section here where it can slide and as the back of the car the rear suspension moves up and down so this joint has to lengthen and shorten to accommodate that geometry change. The joint here then drives directly onto the differential assembly which is mounted underneath the back of the car. Okay a little bit more detail about the clutch. The clutch is released via these fingers here, the bearing releasing by pushing on those fingers and releasing the clamp load. The clamp load is applied to these plates, the carbon plates here, half of which are driven by the hub connected to the input shaft of the gearbox and the outside plates which are dogged into the uh, clutch basket here are driven by the flywheel and so that's how the torque is transmitted from the engine into the input shaft and then into the gearbox.